Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Norwich or Illinois with Tyrant Terminator audits as he attempts to file complaints and lawsuits because he felt he was wrong. He felt he got an illegal trespass. Well, let me tell you something, dude. I watched the video and you were trespassed quite lawfully. So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. Hello, ma'am. How you doing today? I'm well. How about you? Pretty good. Uh, I need to speak. I had, a couple weeks ago, I was here, uh, talked to a deputy chief. I can't remember his name. He's on vacation. He's on vacation. Okay. Well, uh, even possibly if I can speak with the chief himself, I had got some calls. A couple of family members of mine said they called and talked to him. and He was very rude and unruly with him. I just want to be able to come in and see uh, what was, you know, what was the matter? And plus check up on the complaint that I filed with you guys just a few weeks ago, the status. I'll see if he's in. What's your name? James. I'm surprised he didn't cry Fourth Amendment violation right there when she asked his name. I mean, that's what a lot of these frauders do, but I guess he realizes at some point that that just gets kind of old. But let's uh, skip ahead, shall we? Hi. Shift commander. No. Oh, chief. chief. Okay. What's your name? James. James. Okay. Yeah, I was just I just wanted to come in and just basically have a quick dialogue with you, sir. I had got a couple of calls from a few of my family members. They said they did speak with you uh, about an incident that occurred a couple of weeks ago. I was out here in you guys' town, and I was illegally trespassed from. Hey, doofus. Maybe you should uh, let the courts decide whether or not that was a lawful trespass or not. Because I know how you frauded tards like to pretend that you can't be trespassed from any property whatsoever when that is an out and right lie. You, uh, Officer Watts. You were not illegally trespassed. You, you were not trespassed. You were warned. That you can't be on there. You were warned. Also, oh, I wasn't trespassed at all. You were trespassed, yes. You cannot go back there. If you go back there, you'll get arrested, yes. Okay, so... That's you go back inside the property, yes. Inside the property. Okay, so are you aware of the um, Illinois compiled statute, <clears throat> man, which is 720 ILS 521, where you can't trespass anyone from a public building during normal, normal business hours. That's the law. I, I understand, but that's, okay. not, that's not a public building. And Frauditor, could you provide the citation for your argument because I looked all in the trespassing laws and couldn't find the exact wording you just spouted off. So you know what? I think you're lying your ass off just like any other Frauditor would. We have documentation, confirmation from the federal government that that is not a federal building. Okay. They are a lease building. They are private contractors. Okay. They pay a lease there. They pay rent. Okay. It is not a federal building. It's not a federal building, so but they do have a contract. They are not. They do not work for the federal government. They contract for them. That's correct. So my thing is this: we understand that the building itself isn't isn't public. Every worker we understand is not a federal worker. Okay, we understand that the building itself is not public, but the in, the, the the entity is not the structure of the building. I'm mean, seriously. Uh, I, I understand. I understand. I'm, I'm telling you this. Okay. Hey, dumbass. It is possible for uh, the government to contract outside labor when they're short on labor themselves. I mean, good freaking grief, dude. Have you ever worked for the damn government? I have, and it happens all the damn time. You can feel what you want to feel. No, I'm telling you the law. No, you're not. That's not you're the not law. You're not telling me the accurate law, okay? It is a private building. They are not federal workers. It is not a federal building. It is not like this. Okay. 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 Here, this is public. That's correct. Okay. It is not like that. Okay, okay. So, so, so in our reality, that place where I was at, where I was trespassed, you're telling me that they don't offer anything in terms of uh, services to the public. Is that what you're saying? That is correct. You have to have an appointment to go there. You have to be directed to go there, and that is what that's what they're there for. They they are not federal workers. It is not a federal building. Well, if you look on you look on their website, it says that they're. Um, dep I mean, I'm, I'm saying. I, I, I understand. It, it says understand, government office. I understand why you may think that. Because it says government office. I can show it to you if you're willing to look at it. Do not need to see it because oh, okay. I looked it up. But I also spoke with Department of Homeland Security, and it's not a federal building. And I spoke to FPS as well. Okay. <laughs> I spoke to Federal Protective Services, mm -hmm. and they did say this is a that is a government office. Okay. Okay. So how do we? Then I guess we have opposing views, and here's what's going to happen. Okay. okay. And I don't want this to happen. Okay. Okay. If you go there 
and okay. they tell you to leave and they call us right and you refuse to leave right we will arrest you for trespassing so you're going to okay, go against on. the illinois okay, capital statute can i finish okay are, are you going to allow me to finish i i did no i'm and saying speaking no i'm saying after speaking. you speak after yeah, you speak okay okay cool okay we will arrest you okay, okay? then you will go to court okay. okay and you will go before the judge okay and you will get to plead your case Okay. Okay. And that and that's how it, it will probably go. I don't want it to go that way. Okay. I don't understand why you feel the need for it to go that way. You went there. Okay. They're not doing anything there. They take fingerprints and they take biometrics for the, for the federal government, for people who are, who are going for immigration status. That's okay? correct. They are private contractors. They are not federal workers. Okay. It is not a federal building. Therefore, you are not allowed in there without an appointment. Okay. Now, okay. now, are you going to allow me? 100%. Okay. Now, I understand your opinion on it. That's fact. Okay. So, even my th my thing is this: even if the building itself is not federal, once you contract with the government, okay. that entity becomes public property, sir. No, it does not. That building remains a private building, even if they are contracted out by the government, because the government doesn't own the building that private company does. Let me give you an example. When I was working for Walmart, we I went through to these two remodels of two different stores. And every time they contracted to temporary labor agencies for uh, extra labor to help with the store remodel. Now, seeing as how these people were contracted does that make them an entity of Walmart or the uh, people that they originally worked for, which was the temporary labor agency? Quick, I mean, short answer, they are still employed with the temporary labor agency, you moron. Walmart did not have those people on their books. The temporary labor agency had them on their books. So it is essentially the same damn thing concept get that through your damn thick skull you bloody moron I, i'm i'm i don't i'm not i'm sure i'm surprised and shocked that you don't know that part okay, okay, i'm i mean you're, you're i mean you're, you're nonchalant about it chief. and yeah, you should be more professional so. I, I i'm not nonchalant about it i understand the law i know what the law is and so you're gonna do what you're gonna do right okay? We'll do what we have so, to do. So under threat of arrest from the no, chief. Hold on. Time out. Oh. Do not say that because I did not threaten you. You just told me if I go back. That's not a threat. That is, sir. That is not a threat. What would you call it? <laughs> I, I call that facts. It's still a threat. No, it's no, under. I, I will be under no, duress. Because I'm trying to tell you, okay, what's going to happen. I'm trying to. I don't want it to go that way. Nobody wants it to go that way. You don't want it to go that way, do you? I want to be able to exercise it's, my rights, though. Okay, and you did that. You went in there. You saw that nothing's going on in there. Well, okay? I didn't because I was interrupted by your by, by the police it department. It's not a public building. Period. I, I think it is, and obviously okay. I've been told that it is. Okay. And if you go on the website again, you would see that it says government office. Yes, government office means what? public property no, it's just you guys trying to enforce your will but upon here, okay, the citizen okay here this is a public building right that's correct okay, can you go back behind that door no it's restricted okay you need a key card you know, though right you know. do you need a key card yeah. you, just right here you need yeah. to punch so of course it's restricted okay. that door wasn't restricted okay, you need an appointment. <laughs> so, that, so that was a you bad example no it says right on the door you need an appointment appointment only okay do you have an appointment to go there you i don't need i don't need there. one to walk into a public building sir that's just a policy are you guys law enforcement or policy enforcement? And then you and then you and then you, you use rude to a lot of my family members, Chief. That was very unprofessional of you. Well, I'm, 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 they're not lying to me. I didn't say they were. I just you, said I wasn't. A couple, a couple of them said that you said that guy is not a journalist. He's just somebody that sues people. And, Are you a journalist? I mean, from I mean, obviously you make the statement. Are you a journalist? Of course I am. I'm an investigative journalist. You are no journalist, dude. Journalists do not go into a place and create the story. They go into a place and report the story that's going on. And there was nothing in that place to report to begin with. I don't know why you felt like you had to go in there and uh, uh stir up shit, but you did. And you got trespassed because you thought the place was a... Uh, government building and that it was uh, open to the public which it was not because it said uh, appointments only and that is for sure the truth you are not a damn journalist and and now we're going to put Norridge on a lot of scrutiny 
who who your issues credentials. I mean who who issues them? Well then how do I know you're a journalist? But who issues credentials? Because you say you're a journalist? <laughs> yes, that's correct. But it's freedom of press, sir. Okay. I don't know where you guys get this idea that uh freedom of the press and the constitution equals uh more or extra rights. I mean, it just means you can print your story without government interference. It doesn't give you the right to go anywhere you damn well please, even if it's a restricted area. No, it doesn't. Are you the chief? I know you've been on the force. Because I'm... I mean, because you should know about the Constitution, sir, if you swore an oath to uphold it. I asked, I asked who you work for. Well, I, I don't need to work for anyone if it's freedom of press, sir. So I can say that I'm a journalist? That's absolutely correct. Okay. Yeah. I mean, of course, not in your official capacity, you can't. No, I couldn't do that. In your, in your individual capacity, you could. Yeah. So, yeah, it's freedom of press. Right. First Amendment. Something you guys should uphold. Okay. But Officer Watts okay. and two other officers that day yeah. and friends know my rights. Yeah, under, no, they, yeah, yeah they definitely did. Your opinion? They definitely did. I'm, opinion. I'm definitely going to go through with it all. I'm going to go all the way, to, uh, Chief. I'm not going to never go away okay. because my rights were infringed listen, on. Listen, I don't want you to go away. That's not that's not what I'm asking here. Okay, I'm not asking for you to go away. Okay. okay? I'm asking you to have a little understanding and understand that what you are saying is you are misunderstanding what that building is. Okay. I, we just got different opinions. Uh, agreed. And and he, again. The only way that's going to get solved okay, right. is either one of a couple of different ways, right? That's correct. One, I agree with you. Right. Right. I don't. Okay. Two, you agree with me. You're not going to, right? That's correct. Okay. Three, if you go there and they ask you to leave and you refuse to leave, okay, you may be arrested for trespassing. Even if I'm in there conducting business. Well, what do you mean by business? I'm in there conducting business. I'm in there. I have official business to conduct there. What would be your official business? Well, I don't need to convey it to you. No, but I mean, look, but I mean, it's, it's, it's irrelevant what it is. No, I have it. Do you have an appointment to be there? That's irrelevant as well. I have business. If I'm telling you I have official business, I don't have to disclose but it to you. If they don't agree that you have official business there. Right. Okay? Because official business to me would be you were sent there to get your fingerprints taken or your biometrics taken, which is what they do there, okay? Right. If you're not there for that reason, if you're there acting as a journalist, that's correct. Okay, and you don't have an appointment to be there and it's not a public building, right. okay, then you will be, you could be arrested for trespassing. Just like you guys have pamphlets and stuff on the walls and stuff like that that's available to the public and services or whatever type of correspondences. Because this is a public, this is a public venue. Right? See, that's where we're messing up at. And, and and it's gonna come down, now it's gonna personally probably come down on you, Chief, because you're sanctioning it from superiority liability. You're allowing your officers to infringe on the citizens' right. rights. I have, I, have, I have a busy day. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe, I'm, I'm just coming to being honest. I don't believe, because obviously the young lady just said you weren't available, then you can't go there. Well, dude, if you got a dumbass who's not going to go away unless they see a supervisor, well, I guess the supervisor's going to have to take time out of his busy schedule to go deal with the dumbass, because the supervisor does actually have a job to do, and they are quite busy because i've been one i know a lot of other people have been one and yes they are very busy i made myself available okay okay because you said you were going to go violate the law so i came out here to well, i said i was going to violate the law i just well, said i was going to go back and exercise my rights which you were trespassed from being there okay? well how well let me ask you this how long was that how long how long was the trespass because i didn't go to court or anything no judge sanction a time it's, frame. it's a verbal it's a verbal trespass indefinitely is it uh chief oh awesome. if they don't want you there Okay? Right. You can't be there. Okay? I'm, just, I'm hearing they what you're saying, but do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was trespassed that day, how long was the duration? As, until they until they want you back. So how do we know? I have to go back, right? No. <laughs> then how would I be able oh, to... Oh, come oh, on, man. Come oh. on, Chief. Come Listen, on, man. <laughs> you go there. You do what you got to do. If that's what you feel like you need to do and want to do, okay? And then we'll do what we feel like we have to do and need to do, okay? But I'm asking you, you know, man to man, you know, you know okay? What, what's the point? What, what are we getting? You know what? You know what the point is to be no, perfect. To be really perfectly don't. honest with you, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. It's a disconnect already between citizens and officers. What does that so-called disconnect have to do with the original trespass, dude? Because it was the uh, company that trespassed you, not the officers to begin with. So basically what you're trying to do here is deflect away from the original question because you had no original purpose there other than to cause trouble. And this I, is, and this I is the reason why. I 100% disagree with you there. You really? Go, you go knock on any door here. 
talk to any citizen mm -hmm. and you will find out that we have one of the best relationships with our citizens in, the, in this town here. In Norridge. In Norridge. Absolutely, 100%. I, I find that very hard to believe. Well, knock I, on any door. Find I, out. I guarantee because if do, do some journalistic investigative skills. Talk to the citizens. I would don't love to, to. Don't go to some building. Go go to the mall. Talk to the people at the mall. Walk around the streets. Talk to the people on the streets. Don't go bother some people that are just trying to work and do their job. Well, well that's that's just it. We we have a right. See, if you, have, you ever heard of ACLU versus Alvarez in the, in the state of Illinois? That case law is about eavesdropping, dude, and that's certainly what you were doing over there at that time, which Illinois is a two-party consent state, so you still have no uh, standing in this particular argument, dude, so go away. Whatever. I'm, 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 you see, I haven't you see, heard of it. I haven't heard of it. I'm making I probably a point. know, I probably know this, the, the, the basics of the case, but I, I don't know it. Okay, so let me just tell you the basics of it then. Right. Okay. The basics of the case is the state Supreme Court of Illinois says we as citizens mm -hmm. have a right mm -hmm. to film public officials in the course of their duties. Yeah. We, that, They're that's not what the, public officials. <laughs> They're contractors. On. They are contractors. And they are not public officials. Once you contract with the government, okay. it makes it public property. We're done. We're going round and round here. I'm, I'm going to grab a foyer, you, and I'm, I'm yeah, going to afford your entire jacket and your okay. discipline, because I can guarantee awesome. you it's a lot of complaints Thank on you. you. I, I can guarantee I, you there's not. I, I, guarantee, I guarantee it. Guarantee if it ain't, you, you're probably going to get rid of it. So I can't not. see it. Listen. Because we definitely going to put, we got to expose you, Chief. I'm going to let you know. I'm not, I'm here to. 100%. I, I'm here for your exposure. Okay? I, I hope, I hope, wish and pray so. But it's going to come down on you I personally. I open up my jacket to you. I got no problem with that because I have nothing in my file. See, I understand that you guys not really afraid because you got qualified immunity. But when, when laws are well established, that goes out the window. And these laws are well established. Just can't violate them. We'll get you that for you. All right, for sure. Okay. All right. Tyrant Terminator audits, you are the very definition of the Dunning-Kruger effect. A little bit of knowledge, and you think you know it all. But you know what? You don't know jack shit about anything. And you prove that in every single one of your videos because your videos are half ass researched and everything like that you might want to try a bit harder from this point on dude because you suck at this at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one